There's a famous saying that when we care for things, they last longer. Good evening, viewers, and welcome to Malaiti Talk with Zesco. I am your presenter, Chimwema Lungo. Malaiti Talk with Zesco show is a platform on which the power utility will be able to communicate and interact with you, its customers. All you have to do is send in your questions, your comments, your contributions and even some of your concerns and we'll have them attended to right here on the program. Electricity is an essential commodity that powers our daily lives in so many ways. Zesco Limited is Zambia's national power utility. Zesco's operations cut across the electricity value chain, being generation, transmission, distribution and supply. The corporation owns and operates several hydropower stations with a combined power generating capacity of more than 2,900 megawatts. Recently, Zesco Limited announced that it had scaled down operations at one of its major operating stations, the Kariba North Bank, a situation that the company said may necessitate a load management exercise. To give us insight into the power situation is Mr. Wesley Lindy, the Director of Power Generation at Zesco Limited. Zesco generates power from a number of power stations, uh, most of which are hydro power stations based in two main basins. The Zambezi Basin, where we have the 108 megawatt Victoria Falls power station, and the 1,008 megawatt uh, Kariba North Bank, where we are. Uh, which itself consists of the original power station uh, with the 720 megawatts and an extension with two generator units with the 360 megawatts. The other basin is the Kapiwe Basin where we have the Iteji Iteji power station that at 120 megawatts that we call on with Tata Power, the Kapuya Gorge Power Station, 990 megawatts, and the under construction Kapuya Gorge Lower Hydro Power Station with the total installed capacity of 750 megawatts, of which 650 megawatts has already been commissioned to date. Zesco also owns a number of small hydropower plants in central province, northern province, and the Wapura province uh, that give a total output of about 52 megawatts. Currently, uh, generation is restricted as we sit here end of December from most of these power stations despite the high stored capacity what we are able to generate, in particular in Karipa. We have restricted our generation currently uh, because of uh, low energy levels in Lake Karipa, because the water levels are currently very low. Uh, at this time of the year, and going for, uh, by projections of uh, predicted water flows into Lake Karipa, going by the SADIC regional uh, weather forecasting circle as well as the local uh, weather forecasting in Zambia and Zimbabwe. We had anticipated a normal to above normal water for, uh, rainfall for the period. And with that, we have seen increased runoff into the river from the local catchment area, the lower than the catchment area. Uh, that has not been the case, and therefore we've seen a continued drawdown of the reservoir at a time that we should have seen the levels stabilizing or even start appreciating to some extent. The main catchment is uh, up north in the northwestern province and western provinces of Zambia. Uh, including Angola uh, that flows into the Zambezi River. 
those in clothes or those currently we have uh, normal to above normal rainfall to only start respecting as in clothes in the Lake River later in 2023 uh, where water flows will now start arriving in the river and will assist us to start increasing our generation as we build up the reservoir level. Uh, therefore, to mitigate the risk of exhausting the little water that is currently available, we will cut down our generation at Kariba. We also have, not to the same extent, low levels at Kasuego, where we also have equally low uh, area range in the local areas. So we are also watching closely to see that we do not fall into a similar situation as what is obtained in Kariba uh, to ensure that the water that is coming from the upper catchment area, the proper belt area for, uh, for the Kasuya River, that we can sustain generation in the meantime. We do hope the scenario will be changing soon. Uh, the rainy season uh, onset has delayed to a large extent, but we are hoping that to we'll do get uh, an increase in the, the coming days, the coming weeks. Uh, this is partially attributed to climate change, which we, has impacted us. We uh, successively noted several years of reduced rainfall uh, in the period in the last 10 years at Kariba where we are. I think we last spilled water from the reservoir 10 years ago. And with, with the reduced inflows into the reservoir, the reservoir level has been slowly coming down and we've reached an extent that the carryover into the next rainy season now is very, very minimal. And Zespo Limited has embarked on other alternative sources of energy. In terms of mitigating uh, the climate change, uh, Zespo has uh, measures. So as Zespo will embarked on a, a program that will see us increase uh, solar generation. Currently within the Zambian network, we only have uh, two private but, uh, power producers that are generating solar in the Osaka South Mount Economic Facility Zone. Uh, but as, as Zasco, we are also now rolling out uh, to own our own solar generation facilities. We are also looking to engaging into private partnerships, uh, public-private partnerships for us to bring in other partners to work with us so that we can grow also uh, solar generation at that level, as well as the, uh, directly from independent power producers. So we foresee that in the medium term, we should be able to increase our solar output uh, to about 800 megawatts. We also get power from other independent power producers uh, with the Mamba Korea uh, generating 300 megawatts from thermal power that is already coming into the grid and it's supporting us currently with the reduced generation that we have from the hydro power station. So going forward, we are also looking at the generation uh, from wind power. And we are in discussion with independent power producers uh, that we hope can uh, develop wind power generation that can be input into the Zambian grid. But I think in terms of long-term solutions, uh, those are going to be the mitigating factors uh, that we foresee uh, if the climate change uh, mitigations do not uh, resolve our reduced runoff into our reservoirs.
Thank you so much, Mr. Luindi, for that insightful interview. And to you, our special viewers, we want to say thank you so much for joining us on Malaiti Talk with Zespo. I have been your host, Chimomo Lugo. Until then, it's goodbye.